What's up, Bruin fans? And welcome back to another episode of Ruben Dancer. UCLA Gymnastics was at OSU this weekend, coming out with a win of 197.325. This week on Bruin Banter, we have a very, very special guest. We have 2012 Olympic gold medalist and UCLA Gymnastics freshman, Kyla Ross. Woo. Thanks for coming today, Kyla. Of course. So Kyla, I think you had a pretty big weekend <laughs> this week. So, how was your weekend at OSU and rooming with yours truly? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun this weekend, and of course you were my roomie, and it was so fun. Gave me a lot of good insight and tips and stuff for the meet. But we went out and we started on bars, and I got my first perfect 10 Woo! of my college career. First 10 of the season, too. <laughs> yes, yeah. first of many more. Yeah, so I think that was like such a highlight to start the meet off with, and then just like the energy throughout the rest of the meet was just like so high. Everyone was on fire, so it was, it was a great meet overall. How'd you feel going up before bars and then ending on bars and having your team be there for you? Right when I landed, I could just feel the energy <laughs> of the team. Like all the coaches, all of you guys were all just jumping up and down. And I think right when I stuck that landing, like almost everyone knew that like, oh, this has we're to be a 10. Saying, so 10, 10, 10. Yeah. You could not give her a 10. Yeah. So it just, it was so awesome. And I was so touched by just like the amount of love I felt from the whole team. Oh, well, we love you. <laughs> so let's just do a quick meet recap to see um, how the Bruins did this weekend. So this week we decided to spice things up a little bit and we had Madison Koshin start us off on bars and she set a great ball rolling for the rest of the bar set. We ended up getting a 49.55 and that is the highest score we have gotten since 2010 regionals. After bars the Bruins moved on to vault and the Bruins had some great big vaults and yours truly Kyla Ross stuck her vault and actually won the vault at OSU this weekend. So how did that feel? It was a great feeling. I've been working on my year go full just to try to get that landing and get that stick and to actually do that in competition, it felt great. And Kyla has some even bigger balls in the making. So yes, in the future, in the process. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited to see what the Bruins are going to do on vault for the rest of the season. After vault, we moved on to floor and the Bruins again switched up their lineup just a little bit. We started off with Pua Hall who hit a really, really solid 9.85 and the Bruins struggled slightly on floor in the middle of the lineup, but then brought it back, ending with Madison Koshin, who scored a 9.925. you brought it yeah, back Yeah, I too. know, I was gonna say, you brought it back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> After we had a little dim, Hallie definitely brought the sparkle back on floor. Her she Beyonce. always, her Beyonce routine always steals the show, and the audience <laughs> was just captivated by her, but thank you, Hallie. We ended floor with a bang. Madison Koshin got a 9.925, taking home the gold medal on the floor exercise for the Bruins. <laughs> Next, the Bruins went off to beam, and one of the criteria for this meet was to bring the sparkle, and everyone definitely brought the sparkle. Kyla, where did you put the sparkle in your routine? I have like a little move after my series. <laughs> and then I think a lot of you guys like did the little the salt. salt. <laughs> yes. Caitlin, it was Caitlin's idea, but she said how funny it would be if our sparkle was the salt guy. Everyone knows the salt guy, but if you did the salt thing <laughs> and then did it to the judges. So Caitlin and I added that in our routine just for this meet, really but funny. you'll probably see it more. <laughs> so when you're watching the Bruins on B, make sure you look for hashtag pass the salt. <laughs> So overall, this weekend was great, and Kyla, definitely the highlight with her 10-0 bar routine. How is it different than Elite? Because Elite, you don't obviously start at, from a 10-0. Yeah. I think just having the different scoring system, like it does give you a lot more excitement when you do hit a perfect routine and you know that you can get the highest score possible, mm -hmm. whereas in Elite, it's like anything is possible just like with the different scoring. So um, there's definitely a change, and it's a transition that like I've enjoyed. Do you have to train differently? Do you feel like... It's oh. different training? The training is different in college. It's definitely like less gymnastics in the gym, but a lot more like strength and conditioning and cardio. 16 week season, mm -hmm. it's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so much fun to, to be such a close knit team. I know that you've known a lot of the girls on the team for a long time. You've known me yeah, for a really long time <laughs> since we were like, what, 11 years yeah. old. Um, how does it feel like coming into a team where you already knew so many people, but also you were so good at creating those new bonds mm -hmm. and how 
does that feel for you? Do you love it? Yeah, I, I love this team. And like I said, I chose UCLA because I just knew that this team was a great fit. Knowing so many of the girls from Elite, knowing you, knowing Payne competing yeah. against you, it was nice to already have familiar faces on the team, but also I've become really great friends with some of the girls that are new to the, new to the team. Do you enjoy living in the dorms? I feel like that's a huge yeah. part of college, living in the dorms. Yes, I, I love living in the dorms, and they're, especially here at UCLA, the dorms are very nice. I have my own bathroom in my room. Like All the freshmen are in the same plaza, which is very nice, so we're all close. Speaking of the dorms, as the tallest member of the UCLA gymnastics team, it's only fitting that you live with a beach volleyball player, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's actually funny because a lot of the times, like, I'm like, oh, I'm so like tall on my team. like. <laughs> It's like, it's too much to deal with, like, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm so tall compared to everyone else on my team. And then my roommate, who's 5'10", is like, you're not tall at all. Like, they're like, if anything, you're short. I'm like, no. My teammates would say otherwise. Yeah, you're pretty tall for She's us. pretty tall. Yeah. That's okay, girl. Right. You keep shining. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you grow before you came to UCLA? After 2012, I grew probably about four inches. Wow. Like in just like one year. Wow. And then I kept growing like a little bit all the way up until I was 18. Wow, goals. I know. <laughs> Five, two here. Yeah, right, same. <laughs> but I think it's absolutely amazing. Your lines are so pretty mm -hmm. and yeah. I love watching you. A huge part of college life is school <laughs> and I heard you're an engineer major. How are you, <laughs> how are you handling that as a freshman? Transitioning with school has been a little bit difficult, but it's always great to know that here at UCLA, we have a lot of help with tutors and advisors and, and just like the te teammates in general and stuff. We always study together. So it's difficult having a South Campus major because you have classes a lot more often and it's sometimes more rigorous coursework, but it's something that I enjoy like math and science. So something I wanted to pursue. For those of you Bruin fans that don't know, North Campus is where the more artsy majors, humanities, um, the social science majors will be located, and the South Campus majors are where the math and science majors are. North Campus is a lot more prettier too. Because <laughs> they say like in South Campus, no one has time to even look up and enjoy the scenery. So, so the buildings are like a lot more older and beat up in South Campus. You guys are making a world change though. <laughs> okay, Kylie, you know what time it is? Twitter question time. <laughs> All right, now this one's from Daniel, and he said, why did you get a new floor routine? So <laughs> this was, I think it was after our first meet, Ms. Val's like, okay, we're gonna switch up your floor routine. <laughs> so I learned a whole new floor routine in one day, <laughs> and it's actually a floor routine from one of the past UCLA gymnasts who graduated, Monique De La Torre. And it's a very fierce and dynamic routine, and I just feel like with this new one, I can like put my personality personality into the floor routine and really show it off so I'm excited to hopefully make floor lineup in the next few weeks. And your hair actually goes with the routine oh, yes. too. That's another thing. Ms. Val actually decided she wanted to switch up my hairstyle so now I do kind of a ponytail with a messy fishtail braid. Jordan Weaver, my, my coach, <laughs> our coach. <laughs> Slash old teammate. Yeah. Jordan actually did the fishtail for me so I think that's my new go-to hairstyle. Definitely seemed to work so uh, and if it's like the whole character of my floor team. From Kathleen, what's your favorite part of college life besides gymnastics? Besides gymnastics, my favorite part of college has definitely been meeting all the other students and student athletes. I didn't realize how many friends I would make here. Growing up, like training so many hours in the gym and going to school, I really didn't have much time for social life. So now making so many new friends and being able to, a lot of the times, the the student athletes will like support each other and go to other sporting events. So that's definitely fun to go out and support the other Bruins and we receive the support back. So it's always fun to do that. Question from Sarah. It says, what would you tell your 2012 self about how life would be four years later? I mean, it's hard to like look back, but um, I've definitely like over the past four years learned and especially coming to UCLA, learned to really love life and enjoy it. And um, I think that's something that everyone should do is just to embrace everything. I've definitely learned to try new things and just be myself and be happy with who I am. Kylo is a really great life <laughs> mantra that you're living by. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yes, thanks for having me. This Saturday, the Bruins will be competing at ASU at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. Catch it on Pac-12 Network. And see you next time on Bruin Banter! Banter.